Six times. He says the evening and the morning. He does something and then he says the evening and the morning. When I was growing primary school, they used to teach us things by recitation. Yes, recitations. It's a, it's a Mininyana song you sing to make you remember things. Genesis chapter 1, Mudimu is singing a recitation. Amen. Amen. Recitation chapter 1, verse 1. Hallelujah. Amen. The reason, the reason why Genesis chapter 1 is a song. I'm sure many of you have this problem that I have. You have a favorite song. But you don't know the lyrics. You only know the chorus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Aki wan, ka iselete. Hai tomela fela pina ila watula. You jump when you hear this song. But when they ask you pina iring. But when they have a water horror, what is this? Onore na 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 na. We met a chorus. Only waiting for the chorus. Mudimu, Mudimu is teaching us. God is Mudimu are ruta. He's teaching us things by way of recitation. He knows that there are many things that if he, if he says them directly, they might not sink into our consciousness. So he has to treat us like children and come down to our level and introduce things gradually. He starts by singing a song. The song of creation. As a matter of fact, when you read Job chapter 38 verse 7, God says to Job, where were you when I created the, the earth? When the morning stars sang for joy and the sons of God gave a shout. Genesis chapter 1, this is what's happening. God is singing creation into being as the heavenly host sing his praises. Amen. Amen. Genesis chapter 1, God is doing something. He's laying a hold of the chaos that is there. And he's bringing order out of chaos. But he's saying things that don't make sense. For instance, he says the evening and the morning. For a careful reader, that poses a problem. Because the sun is not yet created. The moon is not yet created. What is God using to measure time? Hallelujah. Amen. The sun, the moon, and the stars are only created on day four. But the first three days, God is using the phrase the evening and the morning. What's happening there? Mudimo rata di tricks bazalwan. But he's doing something. Marudi rasi. He's trying to make us understand that as God, he defines time. He dictates to time. Time does not dictate to him. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So he's going to do some things. And all of them, he says, the evening and the morning. The evening and the morning. And yet time is not created. Time as we know it. Time as we experience it. The flow of time. As we, as we flow with it. As we know it. Was only created on day four. So what does it mean? The evening and the morning. Because us as humans, we use the position of the sun to determine when it's morning or evening. Hallelujah. Amen. 
when there was no instrument to dictate or to determine time, God says, the evening and the morning. Okay. Like I said in the beginning, God is an intelligent author. In his introduction, he only states what he wants to talk about. He will develop the idea as you read through the, the body of the essay. Go to Genesis chapter 1. He only states the idea that he wants to discuss. But he doesn't go into detail on it. We have to read through the Bible to get a good grasp what was God meaning when he was saying the evening and the morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Exodus 29. Exodus 29, verse 38 to 39. Kemana 38, kuya 39. Ditabate, rekodi se hadita ebe bazalwa. We are going to dissect these news. We don't have much time. Karnana ko enti. Kopompa leo na mguluti. Day after day. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. In the morning, yes. In the morning and in the evening. Mm. In the morning and in the evening. When we get to Exodus, he begins to go deeper into this thing at the evening and the morning. And he says to the priests, you shall offer every day continually forever two lambs, one in the morning, one in the evening. Hallelujah. Amen. That will not make sense so, as if, if you don't understand what a priest is. Let me explain what is a, what is a priest. A priest is a household servant. That's what a priest is. In the house, a household servant. When God was building the universe, the heavens and the earth, he was building a house. When God was building the tabernacle, he was building a house. And in his house, he has a household servant who is to help him with some things. Who serves him. Hallelujah. Amen. So when he was creating the heavens and the earth, he created Adam and put him in a garden as a household servant. And he, and he says to Adam, cultivate and keep 